हेलो व्यूवर्स आई एम अस्मिता मोरे वेलकम टू अस्मी इज केमिस्ट्री अकेडमी टुडे ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ जुलाई एंड टुडे माई ने प्यू आद्य मोरे हिज बर्थडे इज देयर ऑन दिस डे आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो एवरी वन सी माई वीडियोज लाइक द वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वॉट एवर कमेंट्स सजेशन यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद मी यू कैन राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द chemistry let us start the 12th chapter from the 12th standard aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid okay in the last lesson we have seen the carbon and oxygen it is bonded with a single bond in which lesson we have seen this alcohol phenol and ether and in this chapter we are going to see the carbon and oxygen it is bonded with a double bond okay now when the carbon and oxygen both they are bonded with the double bond then it is called as the carbonyl group and this is one of the most important functional group from the organic chemistry now how the carbonyl group it is classified in the aldehyde in ketone and in carboxylic acid we will see you can see carbon's valency is 4 2 valency already it is satisfied with the oxygen remaining 2 valency how it will be satisfied in the aldehyde that we will see first then afterwards in the ketone and in carboxylic acid now in aldehyde the both valency of the carbon it is satisfied with the oxygen as it is carbonyl group and another two valency one of the valency it is satisfied with the hydrogen atom it is compulsory in the aldehyde and remaining one valency it will be satisfied with the alkyl group or aryl group okay this is called as the aldehydic or formyl carbonyl group okay and when this oxygen is called as the carbonyl oxygen and this carbon atom is called as the carbonyl carbon now you can see here when the carbon and oxygen bonded with the double bond it is called as the carbonyl group now you have seen how the arrangement of carbonyl group in the aldehyde now let us see how it is in the ketone i will write the c double bond o as it is remaining two valency of the carbon it will be satisfied by the alkyl group now both the alkyl group either it will be identical or it will be different suppose both are the identical or same then it will be represent as rr if it is different then one of the alkyl group it will be distinguished with the r dash then here the same condition this c double bond o is called as the carbonyl group c means carbon it is carbonyl carbon carbonyl oxygen these are the alkyl groups now let us see in the carboxylic acid c double bond o as it is carbonyl group both valency of the carbon atom one of the valency it is compulsory satisfied with the oh group that is hydroxy group and one valency it will be satisfied with the alkyl group okay now in this carboxylic group the oh group it contains it will be different from the ketone and aldehyde so the carboxylic acid it shows some of the chemical and physical properties it will be different from the aldehyde and ketone okay now this what the introductory part of the aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid and this c double bond o carbonyl group is the very important functional group in the organic chemistry classification of 
aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid just a small information i want to give you how how the aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid are generally represent first of all aldehyde it is generally represented as r c double bond o h or it is also represented as r c h o okay next is ketone it is represented as r c double bond o r and carboxylic acid it is generally represented as r c double bond o o h okay these are the general functional group or a representation of aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid let us start the classification first of all we will see the classification of aldehyde aldehyde it is classified into two types first is aliphatic aldehyde and second one is aromatic aldehyde now aliphatic aldehyde when the cho group means this group it is directly attached to the sp3 hybridized carbon atom now sp3 hybridization we have already learned in the 11th standard we will not see in detail now now r cho this is called as the aliphatic aldehyde when the cho group it is directly attached to the sp3 hybridized carbon atom now this carbon atom is the sp3 hybridized carbon atom so this is classified into aliphatic aldehyde now what is mean by aromatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde is the cho group is directly attached to the aromatic ring or the benzene ring now see here this is benzene ring the cho is directly attached to the carbon atom which is in the benzene ring so it is classified as a aromatic aldehyde okay this what the classification of aldehyde now let us see what is the classification of ketone now same thing ketone is also classified into two main type that is aliphatic and aromatic when the carbonyl group c double bond o group in the ketone it will be directly attached to the aliphatic carbon atom or sp3 carbon atom then it is called as the aliphatic ketone let's see the example ch3 c double bond o ch3 now both these carbon atom are the sp3 hybridized carbon atom or aliphatic carbon atom so this is the aliphatic ketone and the second type is aromatic ketone when the c double bond o it is directly attached to the benzene ring then it is called as the aromatic ketone okay now this aliphatic ketone further divided into two types first is simple or symmetrical ketone and second one is unsymmetrical or mixed ketone now we will see the examples of this the same example we will consider when the two alkyl groups are same it is classified in the simple ketone or symmetrical ketone and if both the alkyl groups are different then it is classified into the mixed or unsymmetrical ketone i will write another two examples of simple and mixed then you can understand very easily ch3 ch2 c double bond o ch2 ch3 you can observe here both the alkyl groups are same which alkyl group it is ethyl so both the alkyl groups are same then it is classified into simple ketone and when both the alkyl groups are different ch3 ch2 c double bond o ch3 
यू कैन सी यर दिस इज वन इथाइल ग्रुप एंड दिस इज मिथाइल ग्रुप बोथ अल्किल ग्रुप्स आर डिफरेंट देन इट इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू मिक्सड कीटो ना वन मोर थिंग आइदर यू कैन टेक बोथ द अल्किल ग्रुप्स आर सेम मीन्स बेन्जिन रिंग यू कैन टेक अरिल ग्रुप यू कैन टेक और एल्स इन मिक्स्ड कीटोन वन अल्किल ग्रुप वन अरिल ग्रुप ऑल्सो वी कैन टेक इट दैट इज ऑल्सो क्लासिफाइड इन टू मिक्सड कीटोन ओके दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिफेटिक कीटोन नाउ लेट इज सी वॉट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड सेम टू मेन टाइप्स आर देयर ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फर्स्ट इज एलिफेटिक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एलिफेटिक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड वेन द आर इन द जनरल फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इट विल बी एलिफेटिक कार्बन एटम देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज द एलिफेटिक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड इन एरोमेटिक कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड this whole c double bond o oh group it will be directly attached to the benzene ring then it will be classified into aromatic carboxylic acid this is benzoic acid and this is acetic acid now again aliphatic carboxylic acid is further divided into three sub types that is first one is mono carboxylic acid di substituted carboxylic acid and third one is tri substituted carboxylic acid now from mono di and tri we can say that when one carboxylic acid is given then it will be classified into mono carboxylic acid when two carboxylic acids are given c double bond o oh then it will be di substituted carboxylic acid and one more example i will write ch3 c double bond o oh okay this is the tri substituted carboxylic acid when one carboxylic acid then it is called as mono substituted carboxylic acid two coh bonds are given or functional groups are given in the formula then it is di substituted carboxylic acid and third one is if a three coh bond is given then it is tri substituted carboxylic acid now one by one we will see all the examples and how to give the name iupac name and common name to the aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid in the next video we will see that part